Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes three and four. That was weird to say that. <laughs> of Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Vivid. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> well, I mean, this is like a group date. We want that, right? Like a group family date. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much everyone is here. Like, oh my god, I feel like I know you from a past life. Or in a weird way, I feel like these two might end up being shippable together, just like, you know, Nanoha and Fate was. You have a tiny hand too. Just like her?
Bye, she's so freaking cute and excited too. And don't hold back. Even though this is a practice match, still go your all. And have fun now. Oh, nice. It's a good job, though. <laughs> I mean, hello, she's the alien. <laughs> Wrong person. Wrong, not alien from fate. She's Nanoha's daughter, for Christ's sake. <laughs> It was still good, though. Video, I don't think so, but... I feel for her, though. She still has that, you know, air of mystery about her. Oh, baby. Oh. 
A week though. Once again, just like her mama. Like, if you don't think so, it's all there. It could have been, but I mean, still, at the end of the day, she held her own against her. Right? Still at home practicing. <laughs> now, m one thing I do want to say, is it a possibility that Vivia would also have these dreams? Because since they are somewhat connected to each other in some way shape or form because Vivio literally looks like her and then for Ein's her 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 it's her other life so all these other memories are from her past life and so it would make the most sense for her to also have dreams about it so that they could connect in some weird shape or form but I don't think they're gonna go that way they so could Excuse me. The puppy. See, I'm not a running type girl. I'm a walk and a speed walk type of gal. But your girl is trying to lose weight this year. <laughs> but my mom got mad at me like yesterday. Uh, third. Because today's the fourth. And by the time y'all see this, it'll be Saturday. All I'll say is always make sure you eat. Because I didn't do that the previous night. And I was super hungry. And I had something light. And it did not go well with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that she speaks to the third person with herself. It's cute.
Your turn. Her music, oh, 10 out of 10 already. Now see the way her outfit looks in the transformation, she kind of looks like the one girl from the, um, the one series that's currently out now. It's the friend something, the girl who was like, she's a, <laughs> her, she's super old. She's immortal and she goes around traveling in it. The one show that everybody really wants me to watch next. And at least try. I mean, she's doing good at blocking, but she can't always block. There you go. No. The mamas. <laughs> and she pushed her back real good, like... <laughs> You still did good, though. You sure? Oh. Come on, let's take you on. me she 
True, I get that. But things could change. We don't know. Because, <laughs> of course, she's not going to respond to you because she's asleep right now. Girlfriends. Now, I will say, both of their fights were really good. I think I like the second fight a lot more than the first. I mean, the first fight, as we say, is for practice, for fun. Of course, I feel like the second fight also was in that same way. But it's like, okay, like we can go out all out. We can duke this out. We got this. We probably going to destroy some buildings and such. But I get the fact with Iron um, Ironheart and how she feels with her past and how Vivio is somewhat connected to that past. She feels some type of way about her and such. And so I think it is going to take a little bit longer for these two, or really for Ironheart, to warm up to Vivio. Like, yeah, by the end of this, they're, they're like in sync and such. But I feel like there is a lot of other things that are going to happen in the next couple of weeks with especially with episode four possibly going into from five all the way to the end of this series and such but who really knows but still the fight was very interesting i love the fact is we're both transformations going back to videos still as good as last week because it's the exact same thing but einhardt is very different it gives me feels to still pretty much any other magical girl series that i have seen um but Typically, like, the sporty tomboy as Magical Girls. So, thinking of anything from Pretty Cure and such, that is with really interesting good music. Because her, her OST, her background music is so good. It gives me hella feels to Fates music as well. So, I mean, yeah. I, I thought that was super adorable. And besides, like, I love the fact that she's like, let me take her somewhere to rest. Um... Let me take care of her. This is that and the third. And it, that's so freaking cute. And it's just like, yeah, y'all are already like together without being together. Y'all are married without being married. Y'all are girlfriends, even though y'all are not really girlfriends. Well, you're not canon and such. I mean, hell, <laughs> not all and fate really aren't canon. But at the same time, we all know that they're canon, right? Right. So we, it's just going to happen all over again. But um, here's my little two cent and stuff. Um, where the heck is What's-Her-Face? Um, I don't remember her name. But it's the other one who was in the previous series with Subaru Tia, um, and the rest of them. The one who was basically the, the head, the one who was in charge. Why isn't she in this yet? Or any of her family members? That's the biggest, like, weirdest thing. Because if this is supposed to focus on everybody don't you think they all would have been here as well? But I guess because of the fact is there, those characters have other things to do that probably they don't have time to show up, but we might get an episode or two where they possibly have like a quote unquote surprise show up, which would be nice, but we have to wait and see. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. So she's still carrying her, or is this the next day? Next day.
Oh. Of course you will. <laughs> oh, love that. Go on a trip together. That's cute. Stop. <laughs> Seriously, I thought y'all were done maintenance. It, it's literally four o'clock. Mm-hmm. You'd be fine. You can train on the group trip.
Good job, E3. Amazing heart. Of course it's okay. Bye. <laughs> so Hmm. Uh, no, we eating. Eating and doing work. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> It's cute. Kind of very cozy in a way. The, um, the cottage core ask in Animal Crossing. I'm getting so many feels towards that. She's a trip. <laughs> She gives me. You see fate too? They mean like literally after a hard ass day of work, they're like, mm hmm I'm going to sleep. Good night. <laughs>
They're already here. <gasps> Look at the babies! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, you have, and you look so Oh, hold on. Friendly. Friendly. Even Chris is about to go into it, too. Go play. Twice. Freaking twice per week. Water cutting? Thank God she didn't pull her shoulder or something, Jesus.
Yeah, that was all you. Fate looks so tired out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Been like, well, y'all look a little out of it. You sure you don't want to extend? Oh, not look good. Look at the corn. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat after this. <laughs> yeah, you pulled some muscles. Mm -hmm. That's why you always have to like stretch before you work out and stuff, but also, you know, know your limit. Just like with anything else, always know your limit. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, they're so freaking cute together. Like, bah, stop it. But seriously, them, like, the fact that Vivio and her friends have all this freaking energy, you know, for swimming two, twice per week. I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. I don't know how y'all do it. I mean, because, you know, kids, all that energy as a kid. And now as an adult, like, you still have that energy just not as much. It's the same thing with tolerance, with people. 
because you don't like dealing with people and their BS because, ooh, it's the worst thing ever dealing with people and their BS. Like, oh my God, I, mm, couldn't be me. Like, I, I'm a person who has patience, but then at the same time, I am also impatient when it comes to certain things. And girl, no, 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 no. But no, seriously, like, stop. Their, their little cute little, it wasn't even a beach episode. Their, like, trip episode was adorable. It's like, I love the fact that everybody was all together. It felt more like just a family reunion for everybody for certain characters and such. And so that was really sweet. And I love that. And I pray that we get to see more in the next coming weeks and such. But yeah. Even with the fact is that she feels jealous because she's been by herself for such the longest time. I think because of the fact is now that she has people that she can quote unquote rely on and, you know, go to them when she needs to like have someone's opinion or just need someone to talk to and such. Um, of course she still feels some type of way. It's very much almost like timid because you're so used to doing everything by yourself. It's very much like she is very much independent and I do love that and sometimes like even in friendships, you still want to be independent and stuff, but you have to have, you have to, you know, let your friends and people who are important to you, you know, you have to rely on them more. And so for Einhart, I think slowly but surely it is going to once again, take her some time, um, and such. But when she is fully able to warm up, I think that's when that friendship and relationship between her and Vivio definitely will blossom a lot. And such the same thing with the rest of Vivio's friends and, you know, family members and just like that. But yeah, I, it just, it takes time. You know, it's almost the same thing of warming up with someone, especially when you meet someone for the first time and you're getting those like first impressions of someone and you're like, mm, I don't really know if I'm feeling it yet. Like me, I, I'm, I'm shy. So I think if any of you guys ever really met me, it, it's different when it's like online and I'm texting you or some shit or whatever. But if you like physically met me, and such and I say to you like you say hi to me I'm still gonna say hi to you back but like I'm I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about you um until I warm up to you because I'm very much like to myself very quiet and it takes me a while to warm up to somebody and really kind of trust that person and then once I trust that person then you get to see the beautiful butterfly like burst out and be like oh my god like damn I really like this chick. Not only because she's shy, shy as heck, but, you know, she's cool and stuff. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's another thing, you know, because, I mean, some of y'all already knew that ish about me. I feel like y'all know a lot of ish about me throughout the six, more than six plus years I've been on freaking YouTube, but y'all still learn something new about me every freaking day or every other day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Nanoha, <laughs> Magical Girl, Lyrical Nanoha, Vivid. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for Episodes 5 and 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.